learning outcomes after studying this module you shall be able to know about the meaning of faith and treatment learn the role of religion and spirituality in faith based treatments identify the relation between religion spirituality and psychological disorders evaluate the faith based organizations and their methods introduction in united states of america from 1991 to 2001 various faith based and community initiatives along with the charitable choice legislation made faith based treatments amenable to federal funds nowadays there has been an increasing amount of debates on whether these treatments based on religion and spirituality is of any benefit or not in india the increasing amount of crimes related to tantrikas and sadhus make one skeptical of whether to use such methods or not but there are indeed several faith based organizations that work with or without the support of government to treat people in case of both mental and physical disorders despite of having a very little knowledge on the effectiveness of such treatments they are widely being used by many most of them either being poor uneducated or having been attaining a failure in a secular treatment faith can be referred to as the belief in existence living or non living object divine god idea or in the dogmas of a religion faith can be defined as a hope or assurance for things that have not happened yet that are necessarily true but are difficult to define and are ultimately related to one's spiritual growth according to buddhism faith or shraddha refers to a belief in something a will to fulfill the basic motives in life and a feeling of intense joy being derived from the first two there are three jewels which demand faith in buddhism that is dharma which basically means the doctrines of gautam buddha buddha that is awakened person and sangha that is community of the already awakened followers of buddhism in christianity faith is based on the doctrine of jesus christ leading to an active life of learning more and more about god while in hinduism faith refers to the belief that every living creature is a creation of bhagwan that is god pureness harmony with atman conscience karma ahimsa etc are the attributes that lead one to closeness with god however hinduism the only school which relies on various forms of god which are brahma that is the creator of universe shiva that is highest lord vishnu that is creator of brahma being the highest lords lakshmi for wealth saraswati for education durga that is the greatest goddess indra clouds etc in islam faith is being regarded as iman that is a complete surrender to the god's will which may involve one's profession values or functions of the body in judaism faith is being referred to as emuna but however a more emphasis is being paid on accurate understanding accurate prognostication and actions in sikhism kakars are being described as the five articles of faith case not cut main kangi that is wooden home kada that is iron bangle kripan that is sword and kachera that is undergarment the treatment of a particular illness both physical and mental using faith as its base involve these various definitions of god or spirit according to the religious background of the person and that of the community organization using it here our main focus will be on the use of various exercises medication etc based on some form of faith either in religion or in one spirit in the treatment of the patients with psychological problems or even severe mental disorders before we begin we must understand the definition of the religion and spirituality and the core of all faith based treatments no matter what is the country or what is the religion mental health professionals daily encounter people with religious beliefs and issues trying to become more scientific generally clinical psychologists and psychiatrists ignore the religious or spiritual aspects of a person focusing only on the observable and measurable behavior or physical ailments 
Sigmund Freud viewed religion as a neurosis of humanity universally obsessive by nature. Being on the path of Freud, today most of the mental health professionals regard one's religion and spirituality as something illogical, traditional and dependent or even as psychiatry's last taboo. Some studies had found that the common people and people with mental disorders are more religious and striving for spiritual growth than the mental health professionals dealing with them. In 1990, Furtz and Keating claimed that the patients of psychological illness are generally more satisfied with the religious or spiritual clinicians rather than the non-religious, non-spiritual ones. Faith-based treatments are more sought after by the patient with some form of the emotional problems. Thus, religion and spirituality can even heal a patient with serious, consistent or even death susceptible diseases. In a newspaper poll in USA, 75% people were found saying that a spiritual faith or God intervenes and help people in dealing with their illness and daily problems. In a study that took place from 1994 to 1999, Conlin found that there was an overwhelming increase of people from 20% to 78% who crave for their spiritual and religious growth. Thus, the sudden flood of evidences of role of religious and spiritual faith in one's mental illness asks for a need to consider these aspects rather than just ignoring them during treatment. Ignoring such motives, goals or meanings that are ultimate can end psychologist or psychiatrist at ineffective treatment of psychological disorders. Spirituality can be defined as a superior relationship between human and his higher being. It is a set of ideas, values and actions that tend to represent something bigger than the self. Some philosophers define spirituality as an intense, deep, personal reaction to God which does not depend on a ritual or ceremony for its expression. Pelletier defines spirituality as the knowledge of one's purpose in life and the meaning of one's existence. Some regard it as a reduced attention of self leading to deep love which ultimately ends at compassion, humility, empathy and serenity. While religion can be defined as the values and activities of a religious institution and adherence to these practices, according to Gnan, it is a communal institution with a tenacious complex system of activities, rituals and beliefs that a certain community of people follows. National Center on Addiction and Substance Abuse defined religion as a system of ideas and values regarding God or highest energy adopted by a society of people and expressed by certain practices and rituals. Although the definition of faith-based treatment is not clear and practitioners are more or less confused about it, but in general, faith-based treatment can be defined as the practices or activities regarding the treatment of the patient with illness, which may be physical or mental, which incorporates some form of religious scriptures, devotion to God, rituals, ceremonies, or encourage the patient to achieve a level of spiritual growth, which may also involve meditation or yoga. Spirit, religion related to pro-social behavior. Nowadays, there have been increasing interest in the behavioral dimension of the religion or spirituality, which takes into account the behavioral consequences of religious and spiritual commitment by the believer. Various social scientists have drawn their attention towards the positive correlation between faith and pro-social behavior and negative correlation between faith and health risky behavior. Thus, once faith can be applied usefully as pro-social behavior has been found in earlier studies as related to the optimal human functioning and good mental and physical health. Here, pro-social behavior can be defined as any constructive, pleasing, supportive, encouraging and affirmative behavior which aims to be of worth of people and enhance the practitioner's level of acceptance and positive relationships. Various scriptures of numerous religions support and promote pro-social behavior amongst its followers. Love, kindness, goodness and forgiveness towards other people are being promoted by the Christian New Testament. 
Pro-social practices like charitable behaviors and forgiveness towards the weak are supported by the ahadith of Islam. Buddhism promotes forbearance and loving kindness meditation to develop love and forgiveness for others as well as for oneself among its practitioners. In 2012, Slatery and Park reviewed various religions of the world, suggesting that pro-social behaviors like forgiveness, altruism, ethical behaviors are highly associated with Hinduism and Judaism. Now let us examine the relationship between faith and some of the pro-social behaviors. First of which is altruism. Many studies conducted around the world shows a weak but consistent relationship between the practice of religion or spirituality and helping the needy. In 1984, a survey Gallup reported that the people who are highly spiritually committed were more devoted to serve for the elderly, poor and needy than those who are highly spiritually uncommitted. Next is forgiveness. Forgiveness can be defined as a decrease of negative thinking, feelings and actions of the victim towards the offender along with an increase in positive thinking, feelings and actions towards him or her, according to Worthington. Worthington further divided forgiveness to two types, decisional forgiveness, that is decisional efforts by the victim to reduce negative emotions, thinking and motivation towards the offender and to promote the positive ones and next is emotional forgiveness which is the cultivation of positive emotions towards the offender. In another study, what now 2000 reported that people who were the participant of a Bible study or a prayer group were more likely to forgive others than the non-participant ones. A review of the past studies by Mac Kulo in 2005 found that amongst various religions of Christian, Jewish and Muslim, a religious spiritual growth activity and promise leads to more forgiving nature. Next is ethical behavior. Ten commandments developed by the Christians and Jews give an account of the moral and ethical rules that should be followed by a person of faith. In addition to righteousness and sanity, it prompts one to avoid such unethical behaviors of theft, lying and murder. Who proposed that every religion has a basic system containing ethical and moral set of behaviors that guide the people following them and uplifts the standard of the world by preventing such people from harmful behaviors. In 2006, Stack and Kosova, using data from the World Value Survey, found an inverse correlation between the faith variables like religious, spiritual bonding, presence in religious and spiritual activities, spiritual or religious education, religious or spiritual growth, religious or spiritual comfort, strength, spiritual trust, etc. and honest, authentic or integrated behavior. Many researchers agree to the relationship between the spiritual experience and more caring of oneself and other people of the society. Spirit or religion related to positive emotions. An increasing amount of researches by various psychologists indicate a direct correlation between religious or spiritual experiences and positive emotions like sense of well-being, quality of life, hope, optimism, purpose of life, self-esteem, etc. Broaden and build theory of positive emotions suggests that positive emotions are important in human life as they tend to broaden the person's thought action forms mechanism and strengthen their inner resources which may include the social, physiological and mental. Now let us examine the relationship between faith and these positive emotions. First one is well-being. An individual's well-being can be viewed as composed of various factors like feelings of joy, the level of satisfaction with one's life, oneness, integrated behaviors, etc. In the first and second edition of the handbook from 326 studies, around 79% reports positive correlation between an individual's level of well-being and his level of participation in a spiritual or religious activity. Hope and Optimism Many psychologists have defined hope as a feeling, expectation, desire 
or a trust for a particular thing to happen. While optimism contains a broader aspect with the hope of the success of a particular thing in future in a positive way. Till now, various studies have found positive correlation between the religious spiritual practices and optimistic tendencies. Thus, one can say that more religious or spiritual a person will be, more hopeful he will be. Meaning of life In the first and second edition of the handbook from 45 studies, around 93% reported a positive correlation between spiritual or religious experience and the realization of one's purpose or meaning in life. When people face very difficult or indecisive moments in their life, they are most likely to turn to God or their own inner self. This practice often helps the most of them to find a definite purpose of their life and behaviors. Self-esteem High self-esteem leads to higher level of self-confidence and good psychological health, while low self-esteem is associated with depressive and anxiety-provoking symptoms. Engaging and believing in religious or spiritual activities often lead to a higher self-esteem among the practitioners. Spirit or religion related to psychological disorders. Several studies are being conducted to explore the relationship between the religious or spiritual experiences and psychological disorders. Studies show that religious and spiritual beliefs lead to positive mental health, that is reduced anxiety or depression, reduced feeling of isolation and guilt, increased personal growth, enhanced treatment effects of psychological disorders, increased life adjustment, etc. Thus, healthcare professionals may recommend their patients to spiritual or religious leaders for enhanced treatment effects. DSM-4 reports religious or spiritual problems related with various psychological disorders. Somatization disorder Somatization disorder can be characterized by repetitive, multiple physiological grievances which may result in a physical impairment and seen as an expression of distress. Thus, in some of the religions of the world, somatization is viewed as being caused by religious or spiritual distress, leading the patient to seek the spiritual or religious guidance instead of psychological one. However, in most of the Western cultures, the concept of individuality, autonomy and self-dependence leads to ignorance of the spiritual and religious aspect and focuses only on the psychological aspects. Substance Abuse Disorder Alcoholics Anonymous is a 12-step program which aims to involve religious and spiritual practices in the treatment of substance abuse disorders. Its first step involves energy higher than we, while the last step involves a spiritual awakening. Among the 12 steps, five mentions God, while the phrase we follow him comes twice. This program believes that desire for alcohol is no more different than the desire for the spiritual integrity with one's own self. Various researchers have also found addiction as a result of a religious or spiritual crisis. Psychotic Disorder Psychotic disorders are found to have spiritual or religious problems in many cases. Like many episodes sometimes may have mystical components. Similarly, bipolar mood disorder also can have religious or spiritual problems. A type of delusion known as religious delusion is referred to as containing religious issues which are not accepted by the society or a group of people practicing that religion. It can be of three types, persecutory, grandiose and belittlement. Major depressive disorder. Having a religious or spiritual experiences may help a person to reduce the effects of depression provoking stresses as reported by some of the studies. Thus, a patient with depression may be recommended by the professionals to get engaged in a religious or spiritual exercise in order to have a mood rise. However, it should be noted that some kind of religious or spiritual beliefs may result in increased depression in a patient, thus suggesting a careful use of such techniques. Dissociative Disorder Dissociative disorders often are caused due to the extreme anxiety or conflict resulting in the separation of a part of the person's personality from the other part of his conscious personality. 
Here the concept of forgiveness derived from the religious or spiritual beliefs can be successfully applied, helping the person in confronting and letting go the conflict or anxiety producing thoughts of the past. This will ultimately help the patient to regain the control on his own personality and live with integrity and stability. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder Religious Obsessive Compulsive Disorder involves obsessive thoughts and or compulsive behavior associated with the religion. In 1998, Lewis proposed that religious practices can be linked with an obsessional trait but not with the obsessional neurosis. However, religious OCD differs from a normal religious practice in some of the ways like actions with compulsions surpass the law. The individual may not be concerned with the whole religion but only with the particular ritual of it. Facets of the religion other than the obsession compulsions are ignored and this ritual may involve some obsessive compulsive acts like neatness, checking or repetitive recitation of a mantra. Implications Faith, Emotions, Behavior and Psychotherapy Use of faith induced pro-social behavior and positive emotions in treatment. A number of studies have proved the efficacy of the use of faith induced pro-social behavior and positive emotions in the treatment of various mental disorders. In Buddhism, a type of meditation known as loving kindness meditation emphasizes the development of positive emotions in order to enhance one's altruistic and compassionate nature. Some studies on loving kindness meditation have claimed that it is effective in helping people with pain or mental distress via production of various positive effects like optimism, pride, happiness, humility, peace, love, etc. along with enhancing personal resources like coordination, attention, accepting one's own self, increased sociability and connections etc. Meditation can even lead one to personal transformation, destroying the roots of mental disorder if any. Researchers have shown that prayer can induce forgiving thoughts and behaviors in individuals allowing them to successfully face and solve distress producing conflicts. Faith based interventions are also found to be helpful in reducing prisoner recidivism, crime and delinquency. Inner Change Freedom Initiative is another Christian based program which aims to enhance the quality of life of prisoners. It consists of three phases, the initial ones including community bible study, GED, life skill training, tutoring, mentoring, alcohol drug abuse prevention, engaging in social service and enhancing social and personal skills. The last phase aims to rehabilitate participants into community helping them to get job, houses etc. Various researchers have also found religious or spiritual faith to be effective in treatment of substance abuse disorders. Alcoholics Anonymous is a 12 step program which uses spiritual principles and the power of higher energy to treat alcohol or drug abuse. Use of faith in psychotherapy. Jungian psychoanalysts have focused on the role of religion in mentally disordered patients saying that there is not a single person whose problems can not be linked to a religious aspect of his life. While Freudian and object relation theories of religion have focused on the impact of early relation of an individual with the highest power and on the quality of this relation. Rizzuto, an object relational psychotherapist, suggested that the perception of God gets developed from early object relations elements. Common themes that can be incorporated by psychotherapy are having let God down or faith on the disciplinary highest power. Some other psychotherapists have also claimed on the effective use of positive affect like compassion, forgiveness, in treating patients with psychological disorders. Cognitive behavior therapy seeks to incorporate spiritual aspects of a person in order to deal with his existential growth. Practices like meditation, prayer etc. are being emphasized in the therapy focusing on the patient's religious beliefs while the therapist keeps his own religious spiritual beliefs out of the practice. CBT can be found to be effective in preventing relapse or rehospitalization. The images of God, patience, forgiveness, serenity, etc. are being emphasized in CBT.
Spirit, religion incorporated in biopsychosocial model. In simple terms, biopsychosocial model holds that an individual's health or illness is the outcome of the interplay of biological, psychological, and social aspects. With the incorporation of religious or spiritual aspects of the included feature of the biopsychosocial model can be with increased faith on God, one's level of self-esteem increases. One can now integrate his own self with the environment in more meaningful ways. With the enhancement of inner resources, one's effective coping abilities also increase. Increase awareness of the self, environment and ultimate reality. Patients tend to stick more to the prescription of the doctor as the medicines or practices prescribed are the gift of God which should not be dishonored. Faith-based organizations, the concept of West. In 2003, America Ops guidance defined faith-based organization as a small group of believers which includes church, mosque. So this is a society program or practices offered by the believers of a religious community an unprofitable firm having members claiming their aim, practices or status as religious and alliance of various religiously motivated firms. It can be Jewish, Protestants, Catholic or Islamic organizations. FPO may give a range of social services like settlement and houses, deal with the job issues, youth rehabilitation, treatment for psychological disorders and even spiritual assistance when needed by the society deals with. Biblical Framework Counseling Applied by FBOs Biblical Framework Counseling, which is BFC, is a type of counseling based on faith on the principles of Bible used to treat the root cause of the psychological disorders. It is widely used in faith-based organizations. The positive emotions of serenity, love, faith and closeness to the highest power are enforced and considered to be the result of the integration of heart and conscience. Finally, leading to the harmony of mind, body and soul. It holds that humans are composed of two components, material body and brain and immaterial heart. Thus, brain and body are the physical part of humans, while the heart is the spiritual one. The defects in the material part of the human leads to disorders. But the immaterial part is answerable to God and it is indeed its choice that determines the health of the person. The choices of the individual determine his loving or unloving for things like feelings of serenity or a feeling of guilt, faith on the judgment or anxiety and terror of judgment, more closer to God or more farther to God. It is thus the unloving nature according to BFC which leads to distress, anxiety and other psychological problems. Christian therapy applied by FPUs. This is another kind of therapy called Christian therapy which is being adopted by various FBOs of the West. It has been found to be effective in treating PTSD, depressive disorders, substance abuse disorders, eating disorders etc. It contains following core principles, spirit development, sojourn, awakening and informal groups. Then we have faith based treatments in East. Most of the eastern countries are still the developing ones, leading to a less developed approach to psychological disorders, a large number of populations still relying on the treatments via faith in religious or spiritual affairs. Here we will discuss some of the faith-based treatments to psychological disorders being practiced in eastern countries, India being at the top of it. India. It's about tradition. India is considered to be one of the most religious countries of the world. Even today, after a great advancement in the field of science and illness, a large number of Indian population still relies on its traditional healing practices for mental disorders. Charak enforced the integration of mind, body and soul, classifying the psychological disorders into three categories, one of them being the unspecified or exogenous disorders being caused by the anger and punishment of God. Thus, the unspecified or exogenous category of the disorder should be treated with chanting mantras, use of precious stones, promising ceremonies, oblations, offerings, fasting, benedictions, praying to God, bali, pilgrimage, etc. 
Yoga is another spiritual treatment method that harmonizes various aspects of a person's life. Patanjali supports eight levels of yoga to treat mental illness that is Vayam, Niyam, Asan, Pranayam, Pratyahar, Dharna, Dhyan, Samadhi. One of the study claimed that there are three types of traditional healers in India which are Ved, they are the traditional doctors who use natural herbs for treatment. Then we have Mantravadi, healers who use astrology and spells, Patris, healers acting as mediums for demons and spirits. Many of these healers practice inside a temple. Here we will observe such traditional treatments in Indian temples. One is Balaji that is a temple of healing. The Mehdipur village of Rajasthan has Balaji temple as one of its most visited sites by the people suffering from mental disorders. A temple dedicated to the god Hanuman, here most of the health seekers are affected by the spirit illness or Sankat or Bhut or Preet ki Bimari or Rog, viewing mental disorders as being caused by the ghost or unhappy ancestral spirits. Such help seekers are usually allowed to mix up with the normal healthy visitors in the daily emotionally arousing ceremonies of the temple, reducing the social stigma or fear often associated with the psychological disorders. No drugs or physical restraints are used by the pujaris, but informal talks, warm emotions and refreshing humor was used along with the prayers and mantras. Healers often use both verbal and non-verbal method of treatment in family or group structures like counseling or group discussions, home tasks, cognitive structuring via mantras, amulets, ritual activities and home tasks for families. Some of the patients are recommended for music, singing and dancing to comfort troubled ancestral spirits. Verbalization and disclosing of conflicts take place in a protective, familiar and warm environment. Muthuswami, a temple of south. This is a village in Tamil Nadu where the Muthuswami temple resides. It has been named after a person of the village who was known to cure mental disorders with just a mere touch of his hands. It does not treat its visitors with any medicine, physical restraints, ceremonies, rituals or special prayers but it is a supportive, recognizing, positive, assuring and engaging environment it provides them with. Only five weeks of stay at the temple has been found to decrease the psychological symptoms up to 20%. In temple, one of the family members is also allowed to stay and the patient is motivated to perform the daily practices of temple like gardening, praying, cleansing, etc. Nepal, a region about Tantra Mantra. In Nepal, around 15% of the population suffers from psychological problems. Psychological disorders are considered to be caused due to the possession by God or due to black magic. Psychologically disordered ones are of bad fortune, isolated, disapproved, shamed and rejected by the society. Orthodox healers like Tantrics, Lamajankaris, herbalists and palm readers play a crucial role in treating patients with such disorders. Tantric healing, the shamans of Asia. Tantric healing or shamanic healing is being practiced traditionally by a large part of Asia. However, Nepal has one of the most developed scientific method and explanation to tantric healing. Tantric healing is being derived from Tantra, the integrating science of awareness and energy and tantric yoga particularly. According to the Tantra, psychological disorders can be the result of unhappy spirit that get attached to the individual due to its own negative feelings of rage, sadness, jealousy or greed. These unhappy spirits can also be the person's ancestors. The tantric healer use helper spirits of the spiritual world to aid them in the treatment of the patient. The helper spirits are of two kinds, devic spirit who are serene, loving and selfless but less powerful and the asuric spirit which are more powerful but work only for offerings like meat and alcoholic beverages. These helper spirits at first place try to understand the unhappy spirit connected to the patient and persuade him to leave the person. The devic spirits help in process by providing care, sympathy and love to the disease causing spirit. 
If unsuccessful, a second approach of providing offerings to the spirit like flower, fruits or sweets is tried. An animal can also be used as a bigger offering. But if unsuccessful in both the approaches, the Asuric spirit is used who forcefully tries to expel the problem causing spirit out of the life of the patient. Malaysia, the teachings of Islam. In Malaysia, the focus is on three main teachings of Islam that is Haram, that is activities which are prohibited, Maruk, activities which are permitted only to certain extent and Halal, activities that are accepted. The cause of psychological disorders are the loss of Semangat making a person weak and conflicted, the presence of Angin in stomach, nerves and blood vessels that may lead one to hallucination and delusions, three, presence of Jinn where ancestors try to occupy the body of their hearers. Neglecting Islamic values or Santhao are among the other causes of psychological problems. Bomu, the traditional healers use three types of strategies to treat mental disorders. Quran, use of herbal and orthodox medicines and Ilmu Batin, that is Malaya magic. Philippines, where the focus is on spirituality. In the Philippines, religion has a strong influence on people and spirituality is used as a major coping mechanism. Suicide is considered as a sin leading to the lower rates of suicide due to a belief in spirituality, psychosocial interventions often involve the integration of the spirituality with the psychological practices. Besides, spirits can also be the reason for psychological or physical diseases. Now we come to the summary of this module. Faith can be referred to as the belief in the existence, living or non-living object, divine, God, idea or in the dogmas of a religion. Faith can be defined as a hope or assurance for things that have not happened yet, that are necessarily true but are difficult to define and are ultimately related to one's spiritual growth. Spirituality can be defined as a superior relation between the human and its higher being. Various scriptures of numerous religions support and promote pro-social behavior amongst its followers. An increasing amount of researches by various psychologists indicates a direct correlation between religious experiences and positive emotions like sense of well-being, quality of life, hope, optimism, purpose of life, and self-esteem, etc. DSM-4 reports religious or spiritual problems related with various psychological disorders somatic disorder, psychotic disorders, depression, OCD, etc. A number of studies have proved the efficacy of the use of faith induced pro-social behavior and positive emotions in the treatment of various mental disorders. Common themes that can be incorporated in psychotherapy are having let go down or faith on the disciplinary highest power. Some other psychotherapists have also claimed the effective use of positive effects like compassion, and forgiveness in treating patients with psychological disorders. The biopsychosocial model of mental health also incorporates the religion and spirituality leading to a wide array of new features. In 2003, AmeriCorps guidance defined faith-based organization as a small group of believers, a society, program or practices offered by the believers of various religious communities Biblical Framework Counseling, that is BFC, is a type of counseling based on the faith on the principles of Bible used to treat the root cause of psychological disorders. Even today after the great advancements in the field of science and illness, large number of Indian populations still rely on its traditional healing practices of mental disorders. The Mehdipur village of Rajasthan has Balaji temple as one of the most visited sites to treat the mental disorders. Muthuswami Temple in Tamil Nadu provides its visitors with a supportive, recognizing, positive, assuring and engaging environment. In Nepal, around 15% of the population suffers from psychological problems and these problems are treated using Tantra. In Malaysia, the cause of psychological disorders are soul substance, wind and gin. In Philippines, the religion has a strong influence on people and spirituality is used as a major coping mechanism.
थैंक यू